So let's take a look at uh, page 298 in Math 3000 for the 506. There's a question about a boat. And the boat is traveling at 25 knots, which I'll write as Kn, north. And there's a current pushing it with a force of 10 knots at 150 degrees. <clears throat> the question is, how do these two forces combine? What does the resultant look like? And so find its magnitude and orientation. Now the first thing I want to do is break down these vectors into its components. The first vector here at 25 knots north has zero uh, horizontal component and 25 in the vertical component. The 10 knot one is a little bit more tricky because we have to break it down like this. And first we need to find the angle inside over here. This we do simply by saying, OK, well, from here all the way to here is 180 degrees, but I'm only going 150. So the difference between the two, 180 minus 150, is 30 degrees. And so that's the angle in here, 30 degrees. <coughs> now using the rules for SOHCAHTOA, so ka TOA, I can now find the components, both the vertical and the horizontal components. To find the vertical component, I will use sine, because this is opposite to the angle 30, and hypotenuse I know. So 10 times sine of 30 is this component here. Let's pull out the calculator. 10 times sine of 30 equals, so here I have, this is equal to 5 units. Now to find the horizontal component, I use cosine. So 10 times cosine of 30 would be this component over here. And with my calculator, I get 10, 10 times cosine of 30 equals. <coughs> and so I see that this is 8, negative 8.66. It's negative because if we look here carefully, it's in the negative direction on the x-axis. So now that I have the components of both vectors, because uh, actually the components of this vector here is negative uh, 8.66,5, now that I have both components, to find the components of their sum, I just add the two together. I do uh, 0, comma 25 plus negative 8.66, comma 5. And that gives me negative 8.66, comma 25 plus 5, 30. So my resulting vector will be at negative 8.66. Um, over here, and then comma 30. 30 is a little bit higher than 25, so say somewhere over here. And so my resultant vector looks like this. Kind of like this. Which makes sense because if I complete the parallelogram like this, completing the parallelogram, the resultant vector does, in fact, land there. 
now that I have the components of my result uh, of my resultant, I can find its magnitude, which I will then I will do in yellow. So let's change the ink color to yellow. The magnitude of this, I'll call this R for resultant. So then magnitude of R is equal to, and I do Pythagoras with the two components over here, it's negative 8.66 squared plus 30 squared square root. And that should give me, let's pull out the calculator again, 8.66 negative and then I square it, plus 30 squared equals, and then I take the square root of that. Where's my square root button? The square root button, I have no idea where the square root button is. Okay, well, because I can't find the square root button, I will do it like this. The power of 0.5 equals, and so here it is. The magnitude is 31.22. <coughs> now to find to find the angle, this angle here, I will need to remember that this is actually a 90 degree triangle here, and I'm looking for this angle here. So if I find the inside angle over here, and then subtract that from 180 degrees, I'll find my answer. Well, to find this inside angle here, I just use tan, because I know that this height here is 30, and I know that this length here is 8.66 in the negative direction. And using tangent, I get theta in here, theta, is equal to tan inverse of opposite, 30, over, hyp over adjacent, uh, 8.66. And on the calculator, that gives 30 divided by 8.66 equals, and then I take the inverse tangent and that gives me 73.9, 73.9 degrees. But remember, that's the angle over here on the inside. And I want on the outside, so I do 180 degrees minus 73.9. And that gives me 180 minus 70. 3.9, that gives me 106.1 degrees. So here we have it. The resultant vector has a magnitude of 31.22 knots and uh, orientation of 106.1 degrees.